this video is all about those times when you've been doing the inner work, affirming, visualizing, embodying your new self-concept, but nothing seems to be shifting in the 3D. This is when most people get discouraged, start doubting their power, and fall back into the old habits, reaffirming the same reality that you're wanting to change. But here's the truth. Manifesting isn't always about instant results. It's about embodying a state of being, even when the external world doesn't show any evidence of change yet. And I'm going to remind you in this video that circumstances are temporary, but your self-concept baby is permanent. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Hey everyone, my name is Kim Velez. I am a former trauma therapist, now turned transformation coach, where I get to not only level myself up, but meet the most incredible, amazing people all over the world who are on the same mission as I am to change our self-concept, be the best that we can possibly be, and manifest our dream lives and love, relationships, same thing, I guess, right? Money, career, whatever, all of it, all of the above. All right, so I want to talk about this because this is really important. So first and foremost, circumstances are temporary. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of rain um, falling on the roof right now. There is a hurricane coming, a big hurricane coming to Florida, Hurricane Milton. It's supposed to hit tomorrow. Um, so there's a lot of rain. I can't control that. But I'm hoping it's drowned out, no pun intended, and that you guys can't hear it in the speakers. But circumstances are temporary, babe. Whatever is showing up in the 3D is typically just a reflection of your old thoughts, your old beliefs that are still in the process of playing out. It doesn't mean that the new state you're embodying isn't working. It just means there's a lag between the shift in how you see yourself now and the 3D catching up. So circumstances are always changing. They're never not changing. Even if they look the same, they're still changing. And the 3D reality is 100% malleable. The more that you stay consistent with your new self-concept, the faster reality will shift for you. So this is key because when you're anchoring in the new self-concept, it's not a permanent assumption of you yet. It's not a permanent viewpoint of you yet. And you don't need it to be in order to get results that you want, but the more you stay persistent in not allowing circumstances to dictate who you are and how you see yourself, then the faster you'll anchor in that your self-concept and when it becomes a more dominant assumption and view of you, you'll get even more desirable results that are in your reality. You got to trust the timing. Now, I don't personally believe in divine timing because I don't think there's something sitting outside of us that's saying she'll get this in a year or he'll get this in 10 years. I don't believe that. What I believe is that there's a gestation period. Just like seeds need time to grow when you plant them, manifestations require time to unfold. That's just the reality of it. That's why not every person on the planet gets everything they want the instant and the second they want it. So the key is always persistence. When you let circumstances dictate your belief, it uproots your progress. It keeps you one foot in the door, one foot out. One foot in the door of the reality you want, one foot out of the reality you want. You want to be anchoring in and digging your heels in the reality you want, not going back and forth. That's what ties people up the most. So you will always get more consistency with persistence. The more you hold the new state of you, you will definitely see more consistent, favorable results in your reality. So change is instant, but when we're talking about transformation, it requires repetition and an ongoing daily practice, especially when you're changing your self-concept and love. So how do you anchor in your new reality when things look like they're stagnant, they look like they're stuck, they look like nothing is fucking changing? Well, baby, get my course below. I got self-sabotage detox, how to stop self-sabotaging in your love life. I also have the Goddess Daily Blueprint, which is where 
where you learn the daily rituals and practices to really overhaul your self-concept and love. So you need to be anchoring in the new self-concept with your daily affirmations. If you like to visualize, throw some visualization in there with scripting and embodying the feelings of the wish fulfilled. The more you practice changing your states, the easier it becomes and the longer you can hold them. You also want to be doing things when it appears that the 3D is stagnant and you're noticing yourself observing and saying, oh, look, nothing's changing yet, is no, 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 no. I'm the creator of my reality and things are always changing and at some point I'm gonna see it. And reaffirm that circumstances don't matter, that I'm still worthy to receive my dream life, I'm still worthy to receive whatever it is I want from my, in my love life, um, even if my 3D isn't showing me that at this moment. It does not mean I'm not worthy and it does not mean that I'm not gonna get what I want. You have to stop looking at 3D and then saying, oh my God, I'm not good enough. Oh my God, nothing's changing. Oh my God, I'm never gonna get what I want. No, that's you believing that circumstances are permanent when circumstances are always only temporary. And for those of you that want to do this, you don't have to, but if you're someone who you really want to reinforce your belief in you are the operant power, then use many evidence as proof. So instead of needing the big manifestation to show up, the end result, the final of what you want, find small wins or shifts in your mindset, in your state, in, oh, look, yesterday I was triggered and I got through it in 10 minutes compared to two weeks ago when I was stuck the whole day because I was triggered, right? That means you're changing. That means your reality will catch up. Always, 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 it is the law. So start looking at what's happening in you to measure your progress forward. Don't worry about how much longer do I have to do this? How long is it gonna take me to change my self-concept? None of that matters. Instead, wow, look how far I've come. Look how good I've been sticking with this new routine. This is how you stay anchored in to your progress, knowing the more you're changing you, woo, outside is gonna reflect it. At some point, it is the law, babe. When you let the 3D dictate you, when you let the 3D dictate what you get to have in your future, when you let the 3D dictate your mood, you are literally anchoring in and reinforcing exactly the old reality that you're saying you don't want. So you have to practice not dealing with 3D circumstances that way. And it's a habit that you're in the process of breaking and at some point will dominantly break. And you can use things like breath work or meditation, scripting, journaling, exercising, whatever it is to start breaking out of old states, allowing yourself to shift into a different state and then obviously change the story. You have to change the mental thoughts as well. Let's look at revision, but we're gonna look at revision in a different way. So if you have a moment in your reality where you got triggered and you, if you got pulled back into a version of you that feels unworthy, not good enough, scared, not trusting, all these yucky things because of current circumstances, you can literally revise in the spot. And in that moment, instead of, oh my God, woes me, go to a mindset shift and change your state. So when you feel unworthy, say, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna move this into worthy it is now. What would it feel like if I felt worthy? And practice shifting. If you feel insecure and scared, practice shifting into the state of feeling secure and safe and protected. If you felt um, worried and, and not sure of an outcome, move yourself into the state of someone who, well, if I already had what I wanted and I was already in the solution, I didn't need to worry about this because it was already done and I was already living it, then what would I feel different right now? Practice being the version of you in the reality you actually want. Every internal shift you experience is a win, even if the 3D doesn't reflect it immediately. It's a sign that you're becoming the version of you that aligns with the desired outcome, and the 3D will eventually have no choice but to mirror to you exactly what you want. So powerful affirmations can be, I am the creator of my reality, my manifestations are fucking inevitable. Circumstances are always shifting in my favor, even if I can't see it. Every day in every way, my life gets better and better. I am unshaken by temporary conditions. I know my power. Repeat these things regularly and consistently until you believe it, babes. This is what you do. This is how you pass the test from moving out of the old you into the new you. 
So if you're tired of letting circumstances dictate your life because they are always temporary, not your story of you. Your story of you, you're gonna decide which one you want to be permanent. My old story of me was permanent of I'm not good enough and worthy to get what I want and love until I consciously chose a new belief system and view of myself and anchored it in through daily repetition that no, my new story of me is I am worthy and deserving and I always get what the fuck I want and that's who I became. And now manifesting is typically easy and effortless for me because I no longer have a view of me that says I'm not worthy to get what I want. You can do the same. I've taught thousands of others to do this. They get the results they want. You're no exception to the rule, baby. So let's transform your self-concept so you can start manifesting easily and effortlessly and get out of your own way. And if you need the help, Thank you.